but there won't even be much security on the car. Right, I'm gonna do another cyberpunk video. Plus, we'll be doing pretty much furthering the cause of um, I don't know, I'd say I'm like maybe 20-30% further into the story, finally have my build coming together. I'm kind of going for like, uh, like a, like a stealth assassin kind of hacker build. Basically got like all the perks in the blade section I need. I'm using a handgun with a suppressor just for like those quick ranged kills um, still not too much going on here I, like I want to get more into the hacking but it's I don't know it's kind of hard to do unless like you got everything you need um, yeah just gonna get right into it, it right here in America Someone's breaking shit. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm -hmm. It's all too... Easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes. Saul also claimed it stinks the high heaven. Intel on the convoy. Where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Well, of course riding I'm with riding you. with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Although, it probably would have been faster if I just drove myself. <laughs> I think I heard a little shake in that void. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. Yeah, last video... Um, I did, I was, like, basically still in the prologue. This is kind of, like, what I'm doing now. I got, using this for, like, my ranged stealth kills. And then, I was using the katana, just because, like, it's really good. But, I got these mantis blades, and these things are OP. Like, they seriously break the game. They're that good. And then I got, like, this thing to increase my armor by 200. I don't remember if I found it or if I bought it from one of the rippers. But this OS, like, if you plan on doing any kind of hacking, you need to upgrade your OS very fast. Because these make it 20 times easier. And then just Kuroshi Optic Eye. I did get managed to get some, uh mods for it to increase headshot damage by 50 percent so that's why like it like this is just perfect like even with the suppressor on my um gun reducing the damage by 15 percent it still like can one shot anything especially with my um stealth passives like i do 15 percent more damage to humans and then Increased damage by 25% while sneaking. I mean, pretty much negates the uh, suppressor thing. So, anyways, let's get back into it. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. 
Forget I even asked. Oh shit, when'd you get in the car? Okay. Are we here? Oh, Let's go. oh no. Okay, now we're going. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saw him no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the final test you consumes. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Rathens, what about them? Expecting any trouble? All is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's okay. continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. I had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? Like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. Fair and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the fire. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Uh, I guess. There used to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Oh, Carol geez. will have to hack it. Everyone's got now, a story. Now have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Alrighty. Oh, can't make it. And this is a lot of stairs. stairs it is, um. Do you need a light? Oh, more stairs. Crawling up the stairs? When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Money. Oh, you finally get up here? No. Okay. Carol! What are we looking for? 
in here. Goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happy, right? Smell a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. Can you say I seem happy? Yeah, because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Nothi, you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Lucky me. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. In any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Oh, great. Okay, cool. I don't have to walk Got behind her. On it. Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Oh, my God. No, I still have to wait for her.
Well, about time. We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Three. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. Time left till dusk. <laughs> the car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. Does this dude quit staring at me? It's creepy. First person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? No. See? Sport. Creepy. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new content. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he beeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> We'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And to Jack. To Scorpion. Man, this guy's just jamming. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Oh, kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Oh shit, not good. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? ready? Let's ride, B. to speed. They're going faster than we thought. 
Okay, boss. Time to have some fun. Oh, that's our guy. Damn, they just unloading on that dude. Mitch. Hey. Mitch, Bob, go! All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Easy peasy. Uh, I'll take care of this myself. Okay. Fuck, ten out. So it begins. Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations Whoa. forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In stand that case, over here. we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. 
We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. Had them from the start. We'll see. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will, so you better expect that call. You wait. Take care. All right, well, that was stealing the basilisk. Um, this is just like one of the optional like side quests. Like you, it's amazing that there's so much content, which most of it you don't even have to do. But yeah, once again, if you haven't got this game or you're not sure about it, get it. It's awesome. Definitely worth your time and definitely worth the money.